an example of a hostile environment or hostile work environment was described in the case of LBC Express Vis Inc. versus Palco. GR number 217-101, February 12, 2020. A case penned by the bar chair. On the 16th of January, 2009, Monica started working for LBC as a customer associate in one of its branches. The branch or the branch's team leader and officer in charge, Arturo, endorsed her application for the post and acted as her immediate superior. However, during her employment with LBC, Monica was sexually harassed by Arturo. On the 5th of May, 2010, Monica reported the incident to LBC head office and also prepared a resignation letter in case management would not act on her complaint. Management acted by advising her to request a transfer to another team while they investigated the matter. On the 8th of May, 2010, Monica returned to the LBC head office and submitted her formal complaint against Arturo. Monica also reported Arturo's acts of sexual harassment to the police. On the 14th of May, 2010, Monica resigned from her employment since LBC management did not immediately act on her complaint. According to Monica, she was forced to quit since she no longer felt safe at work. On the 20th of July, 2010, Monica filed a complaint for illegal dismissal against LBC. Was Monica constructively dismissed from employment? The Supreme Court ruled that Monica was constructively dismissed from employment. The court found no proof that LBC acted on Monica's report before it issued Arturo a notice to explain. The court further found that LBC only commenced the formal investigation 41 days after Monica reported the incident. Another month passed before it held an administrative hearing for the case against Arturo. Two more months passed before LBC resolved the matter. The court viewed LBC's delay in acting on Monica's complaint as an instance of insensibility, indifference, and disregard for its employees' security and welfare. In failing to act promptly on Monica's complaint and in choosing to let the resolution of the complaint hang in the air for a long period of time, LBC had shown that it did not accord her claims the necessary degree of importance and at best considered it a minor infraction that could wait. LBC, the court said, belittled her allegations. Furthermore, the court found that during the investigation, Arturo resumed his duties as usual. In the meantime, Monica was found to have consumed her vacation leaves just to avoid him while waiting for the approval of her transfer to another branch. LBC's acts showed that it was Monica who had to change and adjust and even transfer from her place of work instead of Arturo. For the court, LBC created a hostile, unfavorable, unreasonable work atmosphere for Monica. Stated otherwise, LBC's insensibility to Monica's sexual harassment case was a ground for constructive dismissal. Monica was compelled to leave her employment because of the hostile and offensive work environment created and reinforced by Arturo and LBC. Monica was thus clearly constructively dismissed.